we're here with some brumbies from the National Park. Wild horses. Wild horses. And I'm Joe from Bega. And I'm Paula. And we were just curious to see how they were going. Well, welcome to Nimitabel, both of you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And it's good to see how the wild horses interact with, um, with the big fell, yeah, the domestic ones. Yeah, with the domestic ones, sorry. They are quite a lot bigger. Yes, but they're all interacting perfectly. Yeah. And you just witnessed the uh, horses with the goats. Yeah, yeah, we just witnessed the horses with the goats, and the goats got an attitude at the minute. What is, my favourite bit was the goat trying to head up the horse. <laughs> It was. Got a 10 foot tall waterproof goat here. Yeah. On a horse. And that was our smallest goat. Yes. And he's got, he's the bravest out of all of them. <laughs> he's very cute. He's got attitude. He does. Take your hat off to him. <laughs> so we've got one behind us. We've got six Brumbies and then the four domestics, which people have met a few times. But uh, thank you for coming up to actually give them a pat and witness them yourselves and you did some videos doing some shout outs to try and get some uh, broader awareness to what's going on it's been yes. a tough week for you hasn't it it has been to know that there were 134 horses from this shot this week for no real reason was quite heartbreaking and quite distraught yes um can't sort of get my head around why and and more to come um, and we, no logic behind it really when it should, should not be even even happening. I can't yeah. comprehend how oh, there's how another one can be seven to fifteen bullets logged into any of these animals. And look how close they're just yeah. happy to come and mill around us yeah. while we're sitting here in the grass. Yeah. And to look into their eyes, they do have a soul. You like that, eh? look into a horse's eye it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a very powerful little statement but it's also a very powerful thing to do yeah and they are just a beautiful animal their aura you just until you get up close and personal with them you just well, there you go there's just a describe their aura you can see have. the size difference just yeah. over here the big black fella coming over oh, he's, 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 he's a beauty he's a unit he's a unit they are just a majestic animal i don't get it i just don't get it so do you think that there's a bit more, there's an agenda underneath what we're seeing with the government's approach? I mean, you remember Bob Devis said he would ban aerial shooting forever in the year 2000 after Guy Fawkes. So what is behind all that? There's got to be. There's got to be an agenda because what other point is there in going in there and blasting the crap out of them with 7 to 15 bullets? There's got to be something behind it. Is it just out of hate for the Brumby when they've just done so much for our country, I just... Well, that's a good question because the people that are behind this are effectively um, Labor Party, but it's the Greens, the Invasive Species Council. Is it... Th th these are people that love to hate. Obviously, yeah. obviously. And... Um, no regard to animals, to the environment, especially because... the environment. Oh, no, hang on. They're saving the environment. But, They're right. destroying the environment. We, we've got wild pigs up there. I've got a pig. Oh, yeah? I've got a pig, mm. a pet pig, Timmy. And I can see the destruction that one pig can do. Um, he, I can, our, our bottom paddock, how he roots that up. That's just one pig. I can imagine what a lot of feral pigs are doing up in Cozzy. That's one pig. Yep. So I can imagine what a lot of feral pigs are doing. Well, we can actually see it. And that's something that with with better data and what have you, we could map it and we mm. could track it and trend it. And that's part of the key is up until basically this week, the National, sorry, the, the National Parks Act allowed the government to set up a wild horse management plan. And that allowed for there to be 3,000 horses in certain retention areas. But we're not seeing those numbers, are we? No. I don't believe there are 3,000 horses. I don't either. I reckon they were lucky to find those 134 poor souls that they slaughtered. 
this last week. Yes. Yeah. And now they're, if it's correct in what I'm reading, now they're saying they're parking their helicopters at 7, 7.30 at night and going through their watering holes and slaughtering up their water and slaughtering these poor brumbies at their watering holes when they're coming back to drink. Mm. So if that's correct, how sad is that for those poor brumbies? And to be shooting their foals first? Like they're tearing up and shooting your child in front of you, dead in front of you. Yeah, there's no... How much distress would that be putting on a man? That's just cruel. Well, it's not just... It's also the lead stallion, the oh, family groups. Yeah. Um, there's no humanity or humaneness no. in any of that. And you're about to be visited by another wild horse. That's all right. He can visit me all he wants. This is Denny. Denny. Yeah, he likes to have a little bit of a nip, but uh, oh, yeah. he also likes hats. Oh, he can have my hat. As long as that all is <laughs> he can take my hat. I'll give it to him. And I've got... I think they wrote a song about Denny. Yeah. But yeah Mum and Dad and Denny saw the passing out parade at Puckapunyal. Yeah, but they're beautiful. Come on, Denny, not yeah, too yeah, harsh. Denny. Yeah, Denny boy. Oh, Denny boy. <laughs> oh, Denny boy. But they're just beautiful. Come on, celebrities. Let's get on board, eh? They've done, well, they've done so much for this country. They didn't care who rode on their back in the war, you know. So, come on. You know, they helped build this country. So let's, you know, help them out now. They need it. Badly. Well, the question comes down to um, why? Yeah, None why? of us have really been. Denny, that's enough. That's enough, Danny. Come on. It's all right. Move off. It's all right. We've not been given a decent reason for the killing of the horses. No, no. And the ones that um, I've seen in the inquiry that Danny. that were more positive for the horses were outweighed by lack of reason for killing the horses, by what I've seen. Push him off. You know. um, just gently push him He's off. Right. It's all right. So the it's all right. Yeah, walk, right. walk around. All They've right. all been eating loose. And the um, what were they? The national, uh, the association, and the union were there talking about rehoming, and they didn't think rehoming was successful. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, is this is that time we get to look in a horse's eye? Is that again? Is that right, Denny? Yeah. He is. Hello. Hello. You go, mate. There you go. Uh, do you remember in the inquiry they said that they didn't think rehoming was uh, was successful and it wasn't humane and it wasn't a great ethical outcome? Or I, well, I think I think this is um, a bit of proof in the pudding, eh? Yeah, it's a bit of proof. Yeah, that's a bit blurry. That. Oh, it may be shorts, buddy. Yuck! You always do that. So again, we've. Um, Sat here today, we've got horses walking all around us. They're big animals, even if they are brumbies, but they're, they're, uh, they can be easily intimidating because they are so big. Massive. But um, just push him off. I just walk, I would say there, we'll just walk him away. Go on, Denny. Oh, Denny. All right, well, that's on video. <laughs> that's Denny. Come on, mate. <laughs> He'll come on. Uh, we can stand up for a while. So, all right. Well, that so maybe rehoming's not successful. Right, oh, let's kill them. All right, let's go and kill them all. Danny was just protesting there for a minute. He didn't want to be pushed away. Yeah, he's protesting about them being shot. Is what Danny was protesting about. Yes. He didn't like that. that like I was talking about that, and I don't say that I blame him. So we. We were talking about doing some video shout outs and you know very quickly we want the celebrities to get involved we want the politicians to be held accountable yeah why are we shooting the horses that's that's basically what we want to know good question like, why they have as much right as us they're excellent bush managers mm. they are maintaining the and bush. fertilizing and mowing they're not destroying it and they can't be held to blame for where they're born. No. We brought them to Australia, and one of the arguments I've run is that we also bought the grass. We did, exactly. So. Pull up all the grass. 
<laughs> well, we can't. No, that's exactly right. And you know what? They also admit that they won't get all the horses. So it's a lot of money to spend to have a zero tolerance approach, but at the same time privately admit, oh, but we know we won't get them all. And that's why we know we won't get the deer. We know we won't get the pigs. Um, so there's obviously a middle ground, which is management, yeah. which is a mixture of rehoming and controlling the numbers in certain areas. And then when we say let's protect the environment, to what standard? Because we've modified it. It's what humans do. That's exactly yeah. right. But it's not like they even want to give it a, a go to manage the horse. It's like they're on a, a mission to just go in and slaughter every goddamn one of them. And the deer and the pigs and as well. The deer and the pigs. Every animal has a right to life. And every animal can be managed. It's whether they want to manage them. And from where I'm sitting, they don't. Well, they've clearly got money available because this shooting is very expensive. There's three helicopters at a time. The bullets are probably one or two dollars per bullet. And um, the shooters all the report writing, the record keeping, the parliamentary appearances and inquiries and the never ending questions. There's a lot of money. Yeah, the amount of fuel that's wasted. <gasps> They're not making carbon dioxide, are they? <laughs> oh, heaven forbid that they. Oh, the hypocrisy. Yeah, and the hypocrisy. And, and in other areas of our state forests, they're sending in graders and that to make bush tracks for humans to walk through which is more devastating than what these beautiful mammals are doing yeah, yeah. it's it's this inverse hypocrisy whatever you want to call it well i don't think there is a word for it it's oh, chaos word, yeah. oh you do <laughs> but I'm, unfortunately i'm not allowed to use it <laughs> oh, well, we'll save that for off camera <laughs> we will so there is a word for this, okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's... It's been scratched out after political correctness. Uh... Yeah, but please, come on board, celebrities. You know, it's, there's not a lot that we ask for, but, you know, the Brumbies need your voice, you know. The Brumbies need your help. And you are the only people that can really help. No one else seems to be helping, you know. Well, the politicians aren't listening to no, we the people. No, politicians aren't listening. Penny Sharp is not listening. She doesn't want to listen. Listen, you know. Kenya Plebiscite does not want to listen. Chris Minns. Chris Minns, I beg you. I have written so many emails begging you. You are really the only man that can stop this, but for some reason you don't want to. Have you ever been and actually stood by a Brumby? Have you seen a deer Brumby foal? I don't think you have, because if you would have, you would change your whole opinion. Well, imagine if Chris Minns come and sat with you like you've just done now and let the Brumbies walk around you. Yeah, it's a little bit intimidating. It's a little bit sort of makes you nervous because they're big legs and we know yeah, they can well, kick. Yeah, you've but, seen that one by this fella. But you've, you've just done it yourselves. Yeah. That's the offer. Come and sit with them. Talk to us. Yeah. doesn't take much time. Let's spend an hour sitting here in the paddock in the tree yeah. under the shade. Yeah. And no, that's yeah. the first little like, hey, yeah. I want to have a say. Well, we were pushing him away at the we same were. time. We yeah. were pushing him away. So that's, those animals were wild in the bush, theoretically never met humans before November last year. Yeah. So they've been here a couple of months. Yeah. But, you know, but three months, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Not a big ask, Chris Minns, just to please, just come and meet these creatures. I don't think you would have ever... It's easy to sit at a desk and say, yeah, just go out and slaughter them. But to actually meet these animals, these creatures, they would just blow your mind, mm. you know? Well, at law, the condemned man gets a last request. Yes. Final yeah, that's meal. Exactly right. Blessing from a priest. Yeah, so that's why it. can't the Brumbies, yeah. you know? Come and have a sit down. Yeah. Let's even sit down in the park. Yeah. Let's get some traditional owners to sit with us. Yeah. Um, we would love to hear their stories of the ones around Cooma, the ones from down at Bega yeah. that actually came up and first they would have been helping yeah. back in the days of the war. Yeah. They had well, before been, then, before yeah. then the information that I've got is that they were obviously intimidated at first, but they, they turned their mind to the horse very quickly and they were known to be very accomplished bushmen. Yes. On the horse because first of all they knew the bush better than the whites yeah. they you know 
in any kind of um, adversarial circumstance, your enemy's weapons are your weapons. So yeah. the white fella came on the horse, the black fella used the horse, yeah. but he knew the bush. Yeah. And they were apparently really well regarded, the Narigo bushmen, the Narigo horsemen. And the horse didn't discriminate, no. That doesn't see colour. No, no. no. All it sees is the soul. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Right on. So we have... Uh, what we need is more people to look into their soul and see that this is wrong. It, it, it is very wrong. And there is a definite agenda. And yeah. it's time that the yeah. truth Comes out. is put on the table yeah. and let the people... That's what it, we're supposed to be in a democracy. So where is the money coming from? Why are you spending so much money on this agenda? And it's taxpayer money. It is. Yeah. What? It's our money. That is shooting our brumbies. Yes. I don't want my money shooting a brumby. No. How many of you people out there want your money shooting a brumby? In your national park. In your national park that we are going to be locked out of very shortly. Yeah. And again, why? Yeah, that's a good question. Why are we being locked out of our own place? Yes. It's everybody's place. Yeah. Whereas we the people. It's, yeah. That's what it's meant to be. Yeah. So come on board, please. We need your help. I don't know how many times I can say it. We need 